Hey family, my name is Aisha May and this is May Day. On this segment of the channel, I bring you along on my musical journey as well as my journey traveling across the US with my husband, son, and dog. If you don't know, now you know. I just released a new single called RV Freedom and it's available on all major platforms including my website aishamay.com. The title is pretty self-explanatory, RV Freedom and the freedom that living in an RV gives. When I first decided to write a song about RVing it was a little while ago probably six months or so but I was still working on my EP something like prayer and I really wanted to finish with the gospel blues project before I moved on to the next project that I'm currently working on that is really centered around freedom because that is really what my message is all about faith and freedom and so when I was doing it, I reached out to a producer that I worked with on another project, and he's awesome. His name is Jared Love, and he's based out of North Carolina. And I was able to work on this with him here in California while he was in North Carolina. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, that's RV freedom right there. I didn't have to fly out to him and work on the single with him but yeah when I wrote this song I wrote it not from a place of judgment when I say you can have your big old house pretty manicured lawn beautiful bow window I had the house the beautiful manicured lawn my husband did a wonderful job um, keeping up with everything he was a landscaper and I had the big bow window <laughs> so I get it you know you want all of these things and it's really beautiful but for me when I attained them it was just like okay what's next so next I say I'm gonna take my metal box all decked out and go wherever the wind blows well that is freedom I decide or we decide where we want to go at any moment and we can pick up and be there we really love having that freedom we like having the freedom of not really worrying about our bills. If someone loses their job tomorrow, it's not the end of the world. If someone decides to take off work for a while, it's not the end of the world because we don't have a mortgage and the utilities and everything to really keep up with. We just have the cost of our RV and then we determine how much our costs are going to be wherever we go. So yeah, there's that. I mean, you just really can't beat that. So the only thing that really has given me that sense of security is letting everything go. I know that sounds crazy, but letting everything go is the only thing that really made me feel secure. Because I feel like no one's going to come after me if I drop the ball. I feel like I don't have to keep up with the Joneses and you know keep getting things to try to show that i am on par with them so that's really great for me in the second verse of the song i say that i swear that i can't lie i ain't got no time to be american dreaming same thing tried it for a little while all stressed out felt like screaming i was about to have a doggone nervous breakdown because of all the stress that I had put on myself. Nobody else put this stress on me. I put this stress on myself because I felt like I had to fit into this mold of what the American dream is. So yeah, same thing. I don't have time for it. Like I, there's too much out here to live for and there's too much out here to enjoy and see and do for me to worry about four walls uh-uh it's not for me for me it's really relaxing to road trip even before we got the rv we would take uh long trips like we've done the pennsylvania to florida drive a dozen times not stopping um but yeah it's just something that's really freeing about letting go being in the moment not worrying about work, not worrying about school, not worrying about any of those things, and really being able to just soak it all in, 
really being able to look at this beautiful land that God created and just soak it all in. It really recharges your battery. And I don't know if you've ever done this before, but, you know, taking a week off and just going somewhere and, you know, not necessarily being in a rush, just taking your time and, you know, enjoying yourself and really being in the moment really calms you. Like I don't have the stress that I used to have. Even with me getting into this music business and, you know, getting started with everything, it's a lot. But at the same time, I don't feel overwhelmed and stressed like I did prior to RV life. So that's about it. I mean, the song was written and recorded right here in the RV. And I'm really excited to share this RV anthem with you. I feel like we never have, like we don't have an RV anthem. We don't have that RV road trip song. You know, I looked online for it prior to writing this. I said, hmm, let me see. Is there something that I can listen to or add to my playlist that I would really want to listen to while I'm driving? And I couldn't find anything. I think I found one RV song and it just, it, it wasn't like something that I can like bop to or anything like that. It didn't do that. Uh, I couldn't bang my head to it. I couldn't do anything. It was good, but it just didn't work for me. So we can't sit around and wait for other people to give us what we want. We got to go out there and get it ourselves or go out there and make it ourselves. So that's why I made this song for us, not just for me, for when I'm listening, because actually I get kind of tired of listening to myself over and over again. But for us RVers out here, whether you be full time or part time or a weekender, whatever, it's for us. It speaks to our lifestyle and it's something that we can relate to. And hopefully you can relate to it in some way, shape or form. And if you can't, you know, you never know. I have more freedom inspired songs that will be coming out over the next year. So keep an eye out, keep an ear out. Definitely, you know, follow, hit the bell notification because then you'll see when new things come out. So that's about it for this week, family. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you have a happy and blessed week and pursue your freedom. If you're not already in it, pursue it. What is that? That movie, Pursuit of Happiness or The Pursuit? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? That's the American dream. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. No matter how that happiness comes or where that happiness comes from. If it's being in a sticks and bricks, then that's fine. If it's being in an RV, that's fine. If it's being in a tent, and backpacking through Europe or backpacking through the US, that's fine too. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, the American, the real American dream.